Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we will see how can we register the customer. We will create an API in Spring Boot. So let's start the implementation. You can see here the entity. So here I'm going to create a new class. So the name of the class is a user. Let's add here the annotation to make this class as an entity in the database. And the second annotation we need to add here at the data. And the third I'm adding here at the table. And the name of this table that is a users. So let's go forward this package and here i'm going to create a new package that is a enums in the enums package i'm going to create here a enum so the name of the enum is user role so here we need to define a role so in this application we have uh, two type of roles admin and the customer so let's close this and let's go to our user entity so here we need to add the properties first one is a long id private spring name of the user private string email private string password and private user role and the user role over here okay so let's go to our dto package and here i'm going to create a user dto so let's annotate it at the rate data annotation so let me copy the properties and then over here we remove this password property from here let's go to our user entity so we need to make this property as a primary key for the table so at the red data annotation at the red id annotation and the generated value and the strategy that is a generation type dot identity let's go to our repository and here we need to create an interface for the user repository let's extend with jp repository override the method that interact with the database so here we need to give the user entity and the data type of our primary key that is a lock so let me import this user entity and we need to add here the annotation that is a at the rate repository let's go to our services and here i'm going to create a new sub package that is a auth and in the auth i'm going to create here a class that is a auth service simple and here i'm going to create an interface that is a auth let's go to our auth service simple and here we need to implement auth service so let's annotate it the class that is a at the rate service and here i'm going to inject our user repository and here we need to add annotation that is a at the rate required args constructor let's go to our auth service and in this i'm going to create here a method for so the return type of this method is user dto and name of the method is create customer and in the argument it will receive an object of the sign up request let me copy the name and go to our dto package and here i'm going to create a class that is a sign up request let's add here the annotation that is add the red data and here we need to get private in email name and the password so let's go to our auth service and import this class and here we need to implement the method so in this method i'm going to create here the object of our user entity to create a new customer into the database so it will be a new user and here we need to set the name and we'll get the name from sign up request dot get name user dot set sign up request dot get email user dot set password sign up request dot get password so now i'm saving the password in the type of string in the upcoming videos we will save the password in the form of the hash so after that we need to set here the user role that is a user role dot customer and after that we need to call here user repository dot save method and here we need to pass the user object so we need to save the response of this method into the this object that is a created user and after that i'm going to create the object of our user dto and here we need to set id and we will get id from created user dot get id and after that we need to return user dto let's go to our controller package and here i'm going to create a class that is a auth controller 
let's add here the annotation that is a at the rate rest controller second one that is a at the rate request mapping and here i'm going to add the url that is a slash api slash auth and the third annotation that is a at the rate required args constructor let's inject here i wait on the auth service so here i'm going to create a method that will call a method from the auth service so it will be a public false entity i'm adding here and name of the method is sign up in the argument we need to get the object of the sign up request so we need to add here add the rate request body annotation and the sign up request over here and after that we need to call a method from our auth service that is a create customer and here we need to pass sign up request so we need to save the response of this method into this object that is a user dto and the name so after that in the if condition we need to check that is created customer is equal is equal to null then we need to return response entity and the string over here that is a customer not created again later and the attitude status we need to pass here let me add here the new keyword in case if created customer data or not null then we need to return new response entity and here we need to pass the object that is a created customer dto and the status that is a ittv status dot created to fetch this api we need to add here the annotation that is a at the rate post mapping and the url of this api that is a slash sign up so let's run the application and test this api from the postman you can see here the database let me refresh and you can see here the table section there is no table for the users you can see here it's created a new table into the database that is the users and you can see application is started in port 8080 and you can see the table that is the users let me open this so let's go to our postman and here we need to add the url of the api that is a slash api slash auth slash sign up and here you can see the port of our spring boot application so in the drop down we need to select here the so with this request we need to pass here the body so let me select here body raw and then json and here we need to pass the object so let's go to our sign up request so these three parameters we need to pass email name and the password So let's click on this send button we are getting the response you can see the status that is 201 created and here you can see the data that we got in the response of the api let's go to our database and let me refresh the table and you can see customer created successfully so now i am saving the password in the type of string in the next video we will update the password and save into the hash form like this let me open another database you can see the business table and you can see the password column so we will store the password into the hash form let me close this let's add another functionality like what will happen if the user is already exist in the database with the email so we need to show a message your email already exists in the database so for this we need to call a method from our auth service that is a as user with email or something like this okay so let's go to our auth service and here i'm going to create a method so the return type of this method is a boolean and here we need to write the method name that is a has customer with email pass the string email let's go to our 
for service simple and here i'm going to implement a method that is a has customer with email so in this method we need to call a method from our user repository find first type email and here we need to pass email let's create this method in our user repository is present let's go to our user repository and let me make up optional as a user and you can see so let's go to our auth controller and here i'm adding an if condition and here we need to call a method from our auth service to check the customer is exist with the email or not so here we need to call a method that is has customer with email and in the argument we need to pass here sign up request dot get email then we need to return new response entity and the string that is and the http status that is a not acceptable let's run the application and test the functionality that it is working fine or not you can see application is started in port 8080 let's go to postman and here i'm going to create a new customer that is a let's click on the send button and you can see customer posted successfully let me refresh the table so let's test this api again with the same details so you can see the status that is a 406 not acceptable and you can see the string that is a customer already exists with this email so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video in the next video we will call this api from angular i will attach the playlist link in the description you can check it out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye